Meta just announced their new smart glasses Orion, and Snapchat launched their new AR glasses too. People are saying this could replace our smartphones, but will they really? Let's break it down. Oh, this is not really Meta glasses. This is just regular sunglasses. They didn't really give me one to reveal. I just need something for the thumbnail. First, let's talk about what these glasses actually can do. AR glasses overlay digital information onto the real world. Imagine seeing your text messages floating in front of you, or turn-by-turn -turn directions appear on the sidewalk. Pretty cool, right? But here's the thing. While AR glasses are exciting, they're not quite ready to replace our smartphone to be the primary devices anytime soon. Let's look at the four big reasons why. Our phones are pocket-sized supercomputers. They have powerful processors and batteries that last all day. AR glasses? Not so much. The tech isn't there yet to pack all that power into something that sits comfortably on your face. Think about it. Would you want to charge your glasses every couple hours? Or have them get hot on your face while processing complex tasks? Yeah, me neither. We're already really good at using our phones. Typing, swiping, pinching to zoom. It's all second nature now. AR glasses rely on voice commands, hand gestures, and sometimes tiny touchpads. This can be clunky and not as precise as we're used to. Plus, do you really want to be talking to your glasses or waving your hands around in public all day? It might look cool in sci-fi movies, but in real life, a little awkward, I would say. Here's a big one, social norms. Smartphones are accepted everywhere, but glasses with cameras, that's a different story. People might feel uncomfortable if they think you're recording them all the time. There are also privacy concerns. How do we control what data these glasses collect about the world around us? It's a complex issue that we're still figuring out. Now let's talk about something as end consumers we often overlook. Manufacturing and supply chains. Giant smartphone companies like Apple and Samsung have spent years perfecting their smartphone production. They've got it down to science. Think of it like this. Smartphone makers are like master chefs with well-stocked kitchens. They know exactly where to get their ingredients and how to cook them into millions of identical affordable meals. AR glasses, on the other hand, they're more like an experimental recipe with exotic ingredients. Sure, company can make a few really cool prototype. Kind of like how car companies create futuristic concept cars, but mass producing them affordably that's a whole different game and challenge. The screens, sensors, and specialized materials in AR glasses are still new and all very expensive. It will take years for the industry to figure out how to produce these at scale and bring costs down. Now, don't get me wrong. AR glasses are incredibly cool and have tons of potential. They will be great for specific use like navigation, hands-free work, or enhancing live events. But completely replacing our smartphones? That's a long shot, at least for now. The reality is, we'll probably see a hybrid future. AR glasses will create a new vertical category to complete our phones, not replace them entirely. Kind of like how smartwatches work with our phones now. What do you think about these new AR glasses and their future? Please leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.